So I guess I'm making these last few videos. I tried to uh, go into this a little before, and then my friend called, and then, and then it was like... These are probably the, I, you know, I kept saying that after how many videos, and it's like, wow, it's like, <laughs> that's why there's no more, there's no more in my face, there's nothing there, there's like, it's like, even when I'm trying to make jokes, or I'm not even trying to make jokes, I, I, you know, some of this shit, I'm not really trying to make jokes, it just comes out so freaking damn funny in my head. But, um, in the most fucked up way, and I'm, I'm saying to myself, like, oh, holy shit, you know, that this fucking really took place, and then, That's why this whole thing is pretty fucked up, actually. It's like, I just got the answers that I was looking for, trying to understand more so of a situation that I've already went into, and th this involves the freaking credit card, this involves, th this involves my first credit card. That I have the first and only credit card that I ever got with credit on it. And then this involves the debit card that I get my money on too, uh, going missing. Like, this is both of that. Um, because th these videos I've tried to make a few different times, and it's like, it's like there was just so much more shit that se seemed to be fitting in to, uh, this this seems to be one of the biggest roots with the branching out roots if that makes any sense and it's like just wow you know So the bottom line is that you know it's like I'm I'm gonna try to tell this without like fucking up and it's gonna be like you know without being able to like put this on a wall and like really step back and look at it because of how freaking just crazy it absolutely is. You know, it's like, it's like, I'm thinking, because I want to include, like, time frames and, <sighs> so the bottom line is that, is that around like the summer of kindergarten or maybe it was the summer of yeah it was like the summer of kindergarten or maybe it was the summer before kindergarten or maybe it was the summer of first grade I think it was the summer of I think it was the summer of kindergarten. That's when the Santa Claus man story freaking takes place. So there's a lot of other things going on that I'm not including right now because this is so freaking important just to get something down about it. And, in other words, like, there was something that was done that there was, there was, 
the reality of it. And then there was also dreams that I was receiving at the time that when I opened my mouth, when something went down, I did open my mouth. And because the dreams seemed so interwoven at the time and I was so young, This also involved my first magic wand, and it also involved another magic wand, a more important magic wand, and um, that happened, see, that happened just about the same exact time that This other story, soon enough, if not at the same exact somewhat time, it could have been like the summer of first grade. Uh, I would have to check the ages of when I entered because I have the pictures to check when I got into kindergarten and when I got into this and that. But, um, and, and personally, I'm so tired of making these videos. It's not even funny. I'm trying to remember so much because if I blamed that man for almost no reason whatsoever. No, nah, there was a reason. There was definitely, something definitely took place there. And then on the other hand, there was the other incident where the man from the other incident locked me in a shed, pushed me in a shed, like from behind, like pushed me in a shed, became extremely like from friendly and I mean, I was so little, and it was like he went from friendly to fucking, to, to, to fucking nasty and fucking vile and, like, all the things that that person wanted to be. Because he was contacting forces that, you see, this is why, what I mean by, like, yo, man, not everybody can handle that shit. People think that it's like, t dude, people think that it's like, it's, it's like they're, they're the chosen ones or this and that. And which is, some of it is true. And yet it, it, it does come down to your personality and, yo man, I just remember like these two incidents being so close and. In other words, like, eventually, like, they bump, if not merge, and then separate again. It That's what it seems. So, it's like, from the Santa Claus incident to the man pushing me into the shed incident. And, you know, even after the man pushing me into the shed, I was still friendly to this person. It was an accident. And it's like... It wasn't an accident. I remember, like, I remember they thought that by pushing me into the shed that the... <clears throat> and it's... Instead of instead of them hating me, they were the ones teaching me the lesson. In other words, they pushed me into the shed hoping that certain things would attack me and I would die of a natural cause death and instead those beings those creatures those wonderful entities 
of life turned around and I was able to hear what they were, he what he was hearing, but I was able to hear the part of Anthony, we're trying to show you what people are made of. It's like, this is, this is what I'm saying. It's like, he pushed me in that shed so that certain things would attack me. And instead I ended up talking to the fucking things. It was actually that, see, this is what I mean by comical because I started to communicate with them and the things that they were telling me was that it was a lesson to show me that certain people do not deserve what the fuck it is that could be brought to this world if it was done the right way. The other incident involved there's it's too it's too blurry still to this day there's still so much blurriness there between the reality of the situation and the dreams because this is what affected me saying certain things and when I said certain things which did take place to some degree in both scenarios but I do know that it led to the person getting into some serious trouble and this was to teach me about magic and uh, using my first wand and years later um, learning how to they, they the, the thing that was done to conceal my wand I learned then something that was very very cool and yet it still makes no sense in reality but the point is is that and then and it's like I don't even want to make the rest of these fucking videos because it's just it's just that's what I mean it's like I don't even want to make the rest of these videos because then it was people around that situation that led to another situation later on which then brings in another person and see I'm just going to be I don't, I don't know why the fuck I'm making these videos anymore, because it's like, there's so, there's so little fucking time to, to figure out what to really do, and I don't really know fucking, I just, I just, I, I just, it's like, do I even, because these are the last of, I'm pretty sure that these are the last of the videos that I would have to make, and then to go through everything and I'm losing my fucking place to live and it's like it's like this whole fucking thing started right here with both of these fucking people from years prior and it's like how the fuck did I end up in this fucking house because then yeah, I forgot about that then there's the kidnapping situation because that took place when I was four So that took place prior. That took place, definitely took place prior to the Santa Claus incident. And that's the interesting part is that the man, one of the men that I seen in the kidnapping incident had a lot of characteristics of the man who pushed me into the fucking shed. So that really makes me wonder, that really makes me wonder but not so much because you know something it's like that person, that Santa Claus incident, that man knew things that other people, that other man that pushed me into the shed that I was so friendly to and so nice to and did not have any repercussions in comparison to what repercussions were done to the man that I would consider Santa Claus 
and I don't mean that in a gift giving way. The point being is that now I'm saying that that's really fucked up because it's like, <sighs> both stories are fucked up. Both stories are fucked up, but the kidnapping incident, there was a person there that I described that the bottom line is that the shed put, pushing me into the shed incident was just as bad. It was just, it was just as bad as the fucking Santa Claus thing. And, and that's what I'm saying. It's like it both links this fucking, this basic area right here. And, and the worst part is, is that later on, it's like the second round, the second or the third round. I don't even know which one you want to call it, but that happens like later on around like, I think it was like 14 Just about 14 into 15. Because um, I'm with friends that bring me to the fucking place. And somebody that shows up there says to me, apologize to Santa Claus, basically. And I'm just saying Santa Claus. But then I'm saying to myself, it's like, it's like I didn't even remember the shit that was in there in my fucking head. And that's also... That's also, um, yeah, maybe I was 12, maybe I was like 12 with going into 13 or something like that, because, um, but then, but then it's still, it's still, even after that, it, it still was like, there was one other time, it, I'm pretty sure it was right after I got my car, so then there was two, maybe two separate incidents around the second round of this the wand the wand my wand was cloaked to look like another wand <clears throat> and that wand broke and people a lot of people were asking me what the fuck how the fuck is it that I was able to break this wand and Because it wasn't the wand that it was made to look like. It was my wand. It was... That's what I'm saying. It was just a training wand. That's it. And it's still to this day, it's like all I did was touch it and the freaking thing, it, like I've never seen something like, the only things I've seen, the only things I've ever seen do what this thing did was the items that should not have been here in the first place. So all I did was touch it. That's it. That's all I did. Touch it. And the freaking thing snapped in fucking, it's, it literally snapped in like in fucking two separate pieces. I knew, I learned, I think I learned, it's not even, I don't even know if I was me that was doing it, but I learned how to mend something that was broken. But then, but then because of all the shit that started, it's like, I just blocked all this shit out of my head. Because there was a bigger fucking, there was such a bigger fucking plot that people should have been fucking aware of and should have put a fucking stop to some of this bullshit from a little kid that didn't know, like, I knew better, but I did not understand what I was, I was, I was so amazed with the things that I was seeing 
it's not about the understanding of it. It was about the amazement factor. Like I was so overly amazed at what I had just seen. <sighs> and that's, and that's always been the case. It's always been the minute I see it. It's like, it's like immediately fucking this unbelievable amount of fucking chaos starts to circle around me. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck that. Leave me the fuck alone. And this is like where it's at. Because now I'm saying to myself, that's the only thing that I am is fucking alone. And it's fucking garbage and it's bullshit. And fucking a lot of people fucking know it's garbage and bullshit. Because what they were doing and what I'm coming to the realization of now is that they were taking my wand or the wand that was supposed to be mine and freaking they were doing very, very fucking bad things with it. Now, on the other hand, I heard that they were doing bad things for a good purpose, which is just, I don't know how much to fucking believe out of that. And freaking personally, it's like, because of all the other shit that went down and Yet, that comes back down to the other side of that. Before I get into the credit card thing. The other side of that is that there is a man in power. A very powerful type of man. And he... I was told some things and... That definitely affected my decisions to tell him to go fuck himself right outside here. Uh, around about the same time that all this other shit was going down. And there is uh, two entities uh, other than himself. And when I say entities, I mean factions uh, controlling the type of army that is uh, very, very... numerous and it's like they have quirks about themselves like the uh the one faction is what i'll say but really it goes back down to almost similar to cloning uh this is this is not exactly cloning um but the one faction is somewhat seemingly uh all on the same page as one another of themselves. And then there's another faction that it seems like I've encountered two almost completely different polar opposites, but they're still, they still recognize one another and they're still able to fucking uh, organize and those two factions are the interesting part to the next story because in other words the man that is somewhat in control of this uh it is a person who had their facial type that pulled the shed incident the other incident that is intertwined with that is later on when um, I seen some things and then it wasn't just me that seen them. It was somebody who wouldn't typically fucking, in other words, there was somebody there having my back, but at the same time, it was like, how the fuck is that possible? And it was dealing with things that are supernatural. And what I'm trying to say is that, um, in other words, the, uh, the stance that this person took against me and then tried to fucking take against another person who had knowledge of situations. And it's like, that's what's making me wonder. It's like, I'm saying to myself, like, so this wasn't, so yet again, this probably wasn't because this, this would involve the, the, the possibility of, uh, not the possibility, because this, in other words, see, so then that person looks, so then that's a whole fucking, 
that's what I'm trying to say. It's like it's 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 not exactly in in this situation that I'm explaining right here with the different factions. This is not exactly cloning. This is this has more to do with um, breeding. And that's that's why it's way different, and um, th that's why it's like it's like on the one side it's like I'm I, I am explaining the one faction to be somewhat on the same page as each other, uh, definitely powerful in its own right, and then there is the other faction, which is somewhat seemingly from the ones that I've met they are seemingly divided uh like polar opposites but they look the same ish same ish but they're not these are not clones these are uh and then and then it gets back to the uh more higher ranked and although they have um certain personality traits uh differences but they still are on the same page and it is to the point where i think i think even that person at some point has questioned why the other ones want what that one has and it's all almost the same so therefore it's it's a very It's a very, very, um, more, uh, it's a, Basically, every single thing that I'm describing right now, no matter which faction I'm talking about, seemingly, there, other than the one faction, um, basically, all I'm describing right now is basically a freaking mutiny situation, and that trickles down into all of the aspects of what that is, which is uh, not so much a bad thing as far as if there is not the right um because there are things that that even some of them don't and that's why that's why this whole thing is so crazy and as far as the uh credit card thing too it's like the my first credit card that i received it's like there was one other it, 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 this is what i'm saying it's like i remember the freaking place that i was brought by a person who used to hang out at a said fucking location. And it was like, oh, well, I never really hung out with this person. What's up? You know, let's go get freaking high. It's like, oh, well, you know, I'm doing this. And it's like, oh, yeah, whatever, man. It's like, you know, you got to go do what you got to do. And freaking, I'm just going to freaking hang out and get high. Man, fuck it. You know, I don't really have nothing to do. And the fucking point being is that it's just funny that this person told me directly to my face that they were going to steal my credit card. And... Guess what? Two, three weeks later, I got a fucking credit card for my first time in the fucking mail. And, you know, it's like, it's just, it's just really fucking interesting. That was before the other credit card. That was before the other credit card. I got another credit card, but I didn't, the first credit card, I didn't freaking apply for. The second credit card that I got, which was the Platinum Visa card, that I applied for. There was another fucking credit card 
prior to that that was that came in the fucking mail and I don't even know what the fuck happened to that card. I was like, I didn't fucking apply for this. This is what I mean, because then that leads back out. The people... And then that also possibly is connected to the fucking... <laughs> that person's name um, that they were going to see that day. When I was hanging out with them, their their name, and they said that they were my wife's family, but that they did not like my wife. Now, some people were considering Selena to be my wife, which I didn't realize this. I did not. I did not fucking realize this. I am so sorry, Selena. I am so so sorry. And then there was some people that freaking the same thing with Ari. I did not realize, like, I did not understand what the fuck, because everybody kept saying, oh, I'm your wife's family, I'm your wife's family, I'm your wife's family, and it's like, and then there's the whole other thing, and the other one, and then this, and then my daughter, and then freaking that, and then it's like, holy shit, stop. I, I need help figuring this out. I, I'm not even, it's not even, it's not, it's just, it's just that important. And it's like, I got most of this stuff figured out. And then it's like, it's the little details like this, because that person was bringing me to go hang with them. I was like, oh, what the fuck? And then it was like, you know, they, but that's what I'm saying. It's like the person that they met was this person that I've seen twice now in the past, what, two and a half years? When the credit card got fucking moved to someplace down in fucking Florida, and they wouldn't tell me the fucking address of where the credit card was, that was the, the person that was walking into the fucking SSI office when I was walking out, that person is the same person I seen over here on the fucking front porch. And that is the same fucking person that I seen that day when that person brought me to that house. Which after leaving that house.